it's Julianne. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. Now, it's a couple days into the new month, but I've been traveling a lot and I'm actually traveling again tonight. I'm heading to San Diego for two nights. And I finally have a moment to sit down and talk about a handful of plant babies that did well for the month of February. I love doing my monthly series, Pot of Fame. I've been doing it now for over one year. And I get to highlight a handful of babies and give them a little spotlight for doing so well in my collection. I hope this inspires you and maybe gives you a handful of ideas as Evie hangs out on the bed. I don't know where she's going. I'm really excited for today's video because I have a handful of babies that are doing really well. A handful of them already have been in previous Pot of Fame's couple months back, but they are doing really good and I could not pass them up to not have them in today's episode. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And yes, I am filming inside because there's a lot of construction happening outside and it's going to rain in a couple of hours. So there's a lot of things happening outside. I will have to prepare my place for the rain because it will be raining for three days straight while I'm in San Diego. So I'm kind of nervous about my collection, but all of my sense of areas now live full time in my home. So I guess that's a little plant update because I'm just so burnt out losing a handful of Sensevarias when I was in Egypt. And I am not going to let that happen to my Sensevaria collection again. So they live inside now. And I will do an updated plant tour once I am done putting together my love seat, which will arrive tomorrow when I'm not here. Hopefully it'll be okay in the rain. And when I am done finishing up my bathroom. So once everything is up to where I like it to be, then I'll go ahead and do an updated plant tours. And you can see where my Sensevarias are now. With that being said, I want to go ahead and talk about my first plant baby. So here's the first one that I want to go ahead and highlight. This is one of my Peperomia obtusifolias, the baby rubber plant. This thing is amazing and I have them in different sizes and variations. Definitely. I'm a huge fan of Peperomias. If you're new to my channel and haven't seen my Julian Collective series, I highlighted all my Peperomias in one episode. And this, guys, is definitely one of my favorite Peperomias. They're very easy. My variegated Peperomia obtusifolia is doing good as well but i wanted to go ahead and highlight all of the little growth it's living in a terracotta and it's been getting a lot of rain water so i think it's doing really good and even if you look in this section here there's a little baby leaf that just popped up i love all of the new growth on here i'm really excited to see this thing grow on me maybe at the end of the year i'll go ahead and move it up maybe bump it up to one size larger in the pot but for now i think the pairing goes so perfect with the size of this plant and obviously i know a handful of my peperomias are in terracottas and they love being in terracottas i water this thing if anything once a week but I have not really watered my collection for a while now because it's been raining quite often. Um, but other than that, if I had this in the home, it'd be watered once a week, missed it twice a week. And I have it just in my patio in a shaded area so it doesn't get direct sunlight all day. Uh, but definitely a handful of sunlight every day with a partial shade. The Peperomia obtusifolia, I highly recommend if you're trying to get into Peperomias or looking to add a Peperomia to your collection. The baby rubbers, the Peperomia tusifolias, are very easy and very drama free. So I wanted to go ahead and highlight all of the new growth. It did so well for the month of February. So I want to go ahead and talk about my next baby. And this is my Maranta, my prayer plant. Now, wow, the construction is really bad, guys. It is so loud. So if you guys hear that in the background, I apologize. So I want to go ahead and highlight my Maranta. This is one of them. I have another one in my bathroom, but they both live in my bathroom. They love the humidity and the diffused lighting. And it popped out two leaves on me for the month of February. Like, how cute is that? I think it's absolutely adorable. This is a very active plant. It moves up and down with the sun. And it's in a planter that I got in Arizona from my neighborhood garden center, I believe. Very inexpensive. I love an all-white planter with the Maranthas because of the different type of patterns on the leaves. If there's a pattern on the leaf, I'm definitely going to try to put it in an all-white planter. Um, but I think it's absolutely adorable with its new leaves. So this is a giving plant if you can find the right place to make it happy. But for me, they do very well in my bathroom with the diffuse lighting and the humidity. 
and I am in love with the new growth. So wanted to give a little shout out to one of my Marantas, which is absolutely adorable. Next baby that I want to highlight, and these are actually cuttings that Tanya gifted me. She's one of my plant friends. She's been featured on my channel before. In fact, I need to get her back on my channel because she hasn't been on the channel this year. So I'm going to go ahead and reach out to her. But take a look at all of this new growth. And I don't mind it being leggy. So this thing gets a lot of rain. It gets a lot of sun. But I feel that the planter is very heavy from the rain over the weekend. So I might just bring this one inside or I'll make sure that it's covered up for the next three days of rain. And I believe this is some kind of Cressula. And this thing is an easy girl. So this was cuttings that Tanya gifted me from her yard. These were propagated in water. You've probably seen them in a previous planting with Julian. So I guess you can consider this a plant update. It's doing really well. And again, I know these are all individual cuttings. So if I wanted to take one out and give it as a trade or sell them off or use them in an arrangement, I can go ahead and do that. But for now, this is the look of it. And I mean, I don't mind that it's a little leggy. Um, I'm just happy that it's growing on me. And it looks so cute with all of the new growth. So if you're patient with cuttings, and I was really patient with this one, and it eventually gave me a lot of new growth. So thank you, Tanya, so much. They're doing really good in my space. Here's another fun one. This is my Peperomia Raindrop. I am so in love with this thing. This was one of my birthday plants. It is definitely a wish list plant of mine. And I cannot believe I have this plant in my collection. There's just like a little pagoda there that my grandma gave me. Um, this leaf, well, I don't know. I don't want to take it off, but maybe I should. Maybe if I go ahead and prune that, it'll look a little bit nicer. I'll do that um, next time I have a moment. So this is all of the new growth. So if you take a look here... There is some new growth popping out here, here, as well as here. So if you take a look, there's another baby leaf popping through there. It is so cute. I'm so in love with this plant. This plant, for the most part, it goes in and out. Sometimes it's in my patio, sometimes it's in my bathroom, and sometimes it's here on my kitchen counter. So it kind of travels back and forth. Um, right now, this thing is living in my bathroom on my toilet, on my mirror tray, it's doing really good. And whenever I take a shower once a week, I just throw my plants under the water before the water gets super hot and then they can get a little misting and water. So I love this Peperomia so, so much. And I can't wait for it to get bigger. It's in a terracotta, but ideally I would like to have it in a white planter. So who knows with the new planting season upon us here, I hope to get more white planters in the future that are affordable. But Definitely see a lot of new growth here. One, two, and three. So that's super cute. I can't wait for it to get bigger on me. And let me know down in the comments below if you have this Peperomia and how big is it. Um, I've had this now since August. So it's been in my collection for about seven months and I love this thing so much. Speaking of August, this is another August baby that I got in my collection. This is my variegated peace lily. This was a gift from Catherine, my plant friend, which is very often featured on my channel. So she gave me, I think, a couple of plants for my birthday. This was one of them. And it's doing so well, guys. Like, take a look at this brand new leaf here. It unfurled for me. These two actually are very brand new. And I absolutely love how it's unfurling. It's doing so, so good. And then if you take a look on this side, there's also some new baby leaves popping through but this is such a very nice statement plant if you just wanted one plant in the corner um it definitely is the plant to get i love how it's nice and full and with the variegated leaves guys if you can get one piece lily i highly recommend a variegated version um, just because i think it's stunning i really see a variegated piece lily so when i seen this i was just in all of it. This is my only peace lily and if you wanted to get one, I highly recommend getting a variegated one if you come across of it. I rarely see this plant in stores variegated. So this is my only one but I'm definitely in love with it. It lives full time outside in my patio. I know one time it did feature it in my little plant gang in my home but now things have been switching up in my space. Who knows? It might come back into the space maybe by my new love seat so stay tuned for that here is one of my prize plants i am so obsessed with this plant this is definitely part of my top 10. i will never give this plant up and i am in love with this plant this is my philodendron panda now this thing is 
so unique. I mean, just look at the way how it grows. This plant is so stunning. It's been featured in a pot of fame before a couple months back. But guys, I could not pass up highlighting all of the new baby growth for me. So without damaging the plant, as you can see, there's one new leaf here. Here's another one unfurling. I mean, there's so many growth. If you take a look here, there is a little plant action happening here and as well as here. This whole thing throughout has so many growth and I just love the way how it spans out in different dimensions that no matter where you turn the plant, it is so cool. I did propagate one of the babies from here in a planting with Julian propagating from my collection. It's in my greenhouse and I just have that there. So if you guys are interested and wanted to get the cutting or who knows, I might gift it in the future. I'm not sure, but this plant is so, so cute and this is definitely one of my top 10 plants, so just wanted to give a shout out to all of its new growth. Doing so good, and I love this plant so much. This, for the most part, goes in and out. Like right now, it's been outside over the weekend because I wanted it to get some rain and sunshine while I was away in Santa Barbara. But when I'm here, I like to have this plant inside of my home because I just think this is such a really awesome plant to have. And... We'll see. We'll see where this goes. There's so much aerial roots in this thing. I could get more cuttings from it, but I just like the way how it's growing. So I'm just kind of leaving it as is. But definitely wanted to go ahead and put it in this month's Pot of Fame. I think it's so special. Okay, guys, to wrap up my Pot of Fame for the month of February, I want to give you my update on my Bigfoot. So this is my one of my Caldex plants. I love this thing so much. It's doing so, so good. You guys, it did not look like this when I got this. Like, all of this is all brand new. It lives on my plant shelf in my kitchen area with my grow light setup and the natural lighting. And for whatever reason, it is a perfect recipe for this plant. This thing is doing so, so good. I'm just, like, in love with the dimension and growth of this plant. Right now, it is living back here behind me in front of my bed on this new plant stand section that I had um, recently put in my space for plants because it was holding glass jars. Now it holds plants. So I don't know, we'll see. I know it's doing really good on the plant shelf, but I wanna see if it'll still do good if it's on this setup behind me. This is such a really rad plant. I'll keep you guys posted on this particular caudex type plant, but I just love the trails. I could even maybe get like a little trellis and then it can just hang up here. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe a little chopstick or something, but that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the February pot of fame and I hope that inspires you to plant up new babies. And you know, this is also another way for me to keep track of all of my babies because I have over 200 plants. And with that being said, this particular series gets me to sit down and take a look at my whole collection and see what's going on with my plants. With this series, when I look back at it, I can see like the repeat offenders that come through my Pot of Fame series that constantly give me new growth. I know those are like so good to have, especially if like you're a beginner plant owner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It is so, so loud, so I'm not going to do another plant front shout out today. I'll do it on my next video when I'm planting up babies in my space. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it inspiring. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hit the bell and subscribe button to be notified on my daily uploads. I get them up at 5 a.m. And I hope this inspires you to do some plant shopping this season. And if you guys are in the United States and I'm able to ship out plants to you, I'd love to go ahead and do that if you see anything in my collection. I do post up plants for sale on my Planting with Julian Instagram. So go ahead and reach out to me. I know a bunch of you guys even just DM'd me on there asking for specific plants. And you guys ended up getting a piece of the plant. So that's really cool. I actually have plant friends all over. Next couple of days, I'll be in San Diego. I'm heading there tonight after work. I'm really excited to film content for the channel there. I haven't filmed San Diego content for about seven months. I haven't been there since August. But I am going down there because tomorrow night I'm taking dance class. If you guys keep up with me and even see me on my vlog channel, you know that I have a dance school that I go to out in the Bay Area in Berkeley, my belly dance school. And one of the head instructors is based in San Diego. And there's only a couple instructors that are certified with the school 
based around the world and one of them is in San Diego so I'm very fortunate enough that I'm able to go down there in two hours and take a dance class keep up with my certification program because I'm also in that certification program for my school so there's multiple things that I am juggling and with my new schedule change I'm able to go ahead and go to dance class in San Diego which makes me really happy and I'm so glad that I'm able to reach and hit all of my goals so far this year and I can't wait to see what is in store for the upcoming months but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I can't believe March is already here there's so much going on in my pack collection and I can't wait to share it with you guys you can find more on my blog at ilojulian.blogspot.com until next time I'll see you tomorrow in San Diego aloha from Santa Monica California bye mm -hmm.